Alright, so here's a tutorial on how to import pictures into Radiant and also to use those pictures in your map. So first what you want to do is you want to open up Photoshop or whatever um, editor you use such as like GIMP or Paint. But I prefer Photoshop and then you want to go to File, New and then I was just putting uh, the width and the height to either 512 Sorry about that. 512 and 512 or one or 1024, 1024, and then make it uh pixels and then press OK. And then I'm just gonna name this tutorial. Alright, so uh from here you can do whatever you want. You can make the picture however you want it to be. So what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna um paint it black and then just like I don't know I guess type my name in it like sick dude right there and then yeah I guess I'll make it bigger 200 there we go okay so um once you're done you wanna go to file save as and then you want to um, change this to JPEG or uh, whatever but I prefer uh, JTAG or Targa and then you want to save your uh, picture to your Call of Duty 4 directory you don't have to do it but I, I just think it's easier so yeah once you save it to Call of Duty 4 uh, and then yeah just press OK alright so now what you want to do is you want to open up your asset manager right here um, and then you you want to go down to um, material and then you want to press new entry and then just name it what you named before so in my case tutorial press ok uh, surface type um, since mine's nothing special I would do concrete but if you did like a, um, a grassy texture uh, I would choose grass because it would make a uh, grassy FX once it's like uh, being shot but yeah so I'm just gonna do concrete uh, usage I'm gonna do interior wall that's where you can find it um, uh, I would also check off test and tools and okay so here you want to press these three dots and then you want to find your um your picture so mine's tutorial right here open and then uh if you press open it'll just show you your um your picture so once you have done this you want to go to file save as now um, this is the part where I see a lot of people are not doing or they're forgetting about this or they don't even know what to do uh, once you save it like once you press save as you want to go to your um, map source or not map source sorry it's um, what was it? you want to go to your source data that's what it was and then you save it to your you save the asset manager settings to your source data as a um, GDT file and then you save it here Oh, but first you have to type it in. So it's tutorial, and then you save it in here. And then after that, then you uh, convert the asset. So, you know, it should say all this, and then, yep, there you go. And then now what we have to do is uh, we have to go into the um, IWD file. So you want to go into your uh, Call of Duty 4 directory you want to go into your mods and then you want to choose whatever uh, mod you're going to be playing as uh, when you like test out your map using dev map so in my case is deg death run and then right here I have my IWD so let me just um, just open it So once you have your IWD, if you haven't already done this, I would uh, make a folder called images. And inside images, I would, I mean, inside images, you have to find your IWI and then put it in here. 
so yeah I'm just gonna pause the video for a bit cuz um it takes me a while to find this so and then I'll unpause it once I find it okay so in order to find your IWI you need to go into raw images and then you should find your IWI in here and all you have to do is um, drag this IWI into your uh, IWD and press OK and then it's in here and uh, now you should be all good um, what this did was um, it basically made uh, your your um, your picture or whatever uh, visible in the game instead of a white uh, picture like a white thing so yeah okay so now uh, just to prove to you um, I'm gonna open up my radiant right here and then I'm gonna open up my map just a little uh, map I'm working on I'm not really finished yet okay so uh, you wanna go to textures usage I did interior wall so let's find it So yeah, there it is right there, tutorial, and then there's my picture. So I'm just going to right there, put it up here, let me find it, there it is, and then I just like to look here. yeah so there it is um, I'm also gonna show you uh, this in game also just to prove to you that everything works alright so I, I guess I'll just I'll keep it here like that and then let me save and then you wanna after this you wanna compile your BSP Put fast file All right. Now let me just put this um, into non full screen so you guys can see. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna go into mods. I'm gonna go into uh, DEG Death Run, Dig Death Run. Okay, so and let me just turn on Fulbright since uh, I haven't added a skybox to my map yet. Okay. All right. And yeah, there it is. It's not a uh, a white blank texture. It's it's the texture that I made it to be. So uh, that just proves that everything I showed to you in this video uh, works. See you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I guess, and if this helped you. Um, then I guess subscribe or whatever.